Welcome to the Fat Cat Swinger Show. The show where you go behind the bandstands. And hang with the cats. Tune in for the stories. And stay for the mayhem. You might even spot some cats in that again. With your hosts, Marco Paolo. And Mark Kapitsky. This week on the Fat Cat Swinger Show. He's got the voice. He's got the style. Frank Barata. And the Minister of Western Swing. It's Big Sandy. Join in the fun. Comment and enter the giveaway. Fasten your seatbelts because here, here we go. Happy Wednesday to you, everybody. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. And Marco, what's going on? Where's the studio? I am in a very cool location here in New Orleans. My good friend Michael Floyd put me up. He's uh, uh, He was in the fire department, so you could see this cool little fire photo of, you know, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. And oh! Donald. It's such Look a cute photo. That. But he was so kind to put me up here at, and uh, host me while I'm in New Orleans. And uh, and yeah, I got you know I just you see Louis Prima Senior here on this record right there. I just yeah. finished the show with Louis Prima Junior uh, right here at the Max and Metairie, which is just right next to New Orleans. It's all New Orleans out here, but uh, had a wonderful time, wonderful show. It was a sold out show, and gosh, I want to do some shout outs real quick because I see Ruby Champagne in the audience, our good friend Sarah, Tori, and uh, Paige and Susan. So many people all, all over. Do us a favor and let us know where you are watching from tonight. Because we want to know where everybody is. Greetings to Raven Darkly, but uh, yeah, man, that's that's been my day. My voice is a little raspy because I just finished the show, and uh, my gosh, let me tell you, when you, as you know, when we did our first Fat Cat show back, what was it like? It was like this workout, this intense. Ooh. Oh yeah, it was a workout, and then we just left it all out on the stage because it had been so so long since we had played together. Yes, so, right. That's so, what we did tonight. I got the. I should have. I mean, you know what? I'm going to see if I can send it to you in time to upload. But there's this photo uh of tonight's show i'll see if i could send it in time but if not don't worry yeah about it. yeah it's uh yeah I, 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 so I, I i'm sure it was such a great my... feeling you probably have that post show high going you know i'm feeling good and, and yeah and just natural <laughs> high it is good and i've got a wonderful location here i'm happy to be with you again and our good friend let's say hello to the gentleman behind the curtain mr daps everybody hey hey <laughs> technology is amazing Ain't it amazing? Yes. We were, we were wondering, as I was driving from the show to here, I was on my phone just in case I had to broadcast from my phone. So I was there, and I just made it in time to be here. So at least I'm not, like, showering, getting ready five minutes before the show. This time I was Yeah, this is great. Go. But it was kind of exciting, you guys, because we got to watch Marco, and it said Marco on the road instead of Marco Paolo. <laughs> I felt like this is our like her mini documentary. I wouldn't have mind if it ended in the show. I think it would no. have been great. <laughs> <laughs> like running It'd be a handicap stairs. for the game, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, it's oh been a, a fun day, a fun time. But uh, Mark, how you been? I've been great. Uh, really good. I had a, a show, a couple shows up in the San Francisco area. Ooh, uh, tell us about it. Yeah, so it was with... Um, with my singing partner, we have a group called the Kings of Soul and Swing. Yes, uh, Julius Palms III is his, his name. And uh, yeah, it was our first show back in more, I mean, uh, two years, two years. Yeah, probably yeah. more. And um, it was very exciting. We were opening the season for the Fremont Symphony Ooh. and uh, sort of just getting people excited about, all right, live music's back and, and helping to raise money for the rest of their season coming up and we had a blast you know amazing i'm so happy yeah. for you man that is an amazing show to do you got to play with the band and uh, just do your show yeah. and gosh i i hope to see that show myself actually so if uh, if i'm in town and you do a show please 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 let me know <laughs> absolutely absolutely if you blast know, we'll make sure to tell our friends here oh, there oh it is. hey this justin there i am doing my back band with louis prima jr over here in new orleans that happened about less than an hour ago. <laughs> all right, all right. 
Yeah. <laughs> All is right with the world. Marco's yes, back to doing the back bends. We're back to doing the back bends. Yeah. I think we're going to start getting in shape again. We got some shows. Uh, speaking of shows, if you, any of you would like to check out those shows with Louis Prima Jr., I'm going to spell this for you. It's L O U I S P R I M A J R dot com. That's L O U I S P R I M A J R dot com. We are going to be in California in a couple weeks here at the end of the month. Um, so if you want to check out any of those shows, check out his website and uh, see if you can join us because uh, it'll be a fun time. It's definitely fun to see the son of, in case you don't know who this is, it's the son of King Louis, the orangutan from the Jungle Book. You know, you know that voice. Who be do? I want to be like you. Hoo hoo. That's Louis Prima Jr., his son, So yeah. uh, the, the son of him. So it, it's got to be an exciting show to check out. But you know what else is exciting? The what? Guest li- the guest lineup we have tonight. Oh, Louis. my oh, gosh. Man. Have we got some guests tonight? Uh, gosh, from big band to, you know, roots, country roots, uh, Americana. I, I'm so excited for what we got tonight. Are you ready to do this? I, I'm ready to do this. And I think you're you're more ready than than both of us. So you've, got a, you've got a crooner mic all ready to go. And so <laughs> we'll... I think you're ready for what we're going to be bringing up. But Mr. Daps, go ahead and roll, roll that, that tape. tape. <laughs> Look for the bad necessity. Simple bad necessity. Forget about your worries and your striving. I mean the bad necessity. Oh, Mother Nature's recipe brings a better sense to your life. Woo! Hey, what's going on, Hello, gentlemen? Frankie Barajas. Hello, YouTubers. Hello, <laughs> doing, sir. Welcome Mark, to the Mark, show. Pleasure to be here, guys. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to have you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know Frankie Barajas, he's a lead singer for the Wise Guys Big Band, but also his own show, and he's the host of a wonderful uh, live stream you've been doing called Frankie's Lounge. Yeah, that's correct, man. Uh, I started doing that show, obviously, with the pandemic. Uh, Prior to that, I started doing uh, Frankie's Lounge shows where I would hit little bars and restaurants because we couldn't fit the 18-piece band of Wise Guys. So the owner started hitting me up. Hey, Frank, you know, you think you could do something for dinner or something like that? And it just kind of took a life of its own. And it was doing really great. And then obviously the COVID hit and uh, we weren't not, we couldn't do anything with the band or myself, Frankie's Lounge. So in order to kind of entertain ourselves and uh, and the people still out there, I started doing the monthly uh, show, live stream show on the Wise Guys page, mm-hmm. uh, Frankie's Lounge page, uh, Wise Guys show. And uh, yeah, you know, we entertained people for about a year and a half. That's all we had to uh, to do, you know. Right. So it was, it was a blessing and a curse because, uh, you know, the curse was you couldn't be out there live with people and having a good time. But the blessing was that you got to reach people from all over the world because now they could just yeah. watch you online for free yes. that never watched before. So we have people from Singapore, Costa Rica, Ooh. family members in Mexico that never have seen us before or seen me wow. sing before, heard me. New York, North Carolina, uh, you name it. Uh, we're you know chiming in on the on the live chat and uh, listening to the music. So it, it, out of the bad, something good came out of it, you know. So. Yeah. And, and I learned how to use the Zoom thing a little bit so I could be here with some guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take the positive, man. Take the positive as always. That's right. Well, Mr. <laughs> Depps is reminding us here, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a giveaway tonight. I know Frankie's got a couple of teasers. Here's the thing. He's only got a limited, uh, if, if you happen, if we, he's only got a large left on the T-shirt. So if we, we're going to try to give one of those away. But at the very least, if, uh, if you don't fit into a large shirt, we are going to give away one of the Wise Guys CDs as well, which we'd like to go ahead and support. So, uh, Tonight's hashtag, what we're going to do throughout his broadcast, we're only going to limit it to three hashtags. So at any point in the broadcast, type in that's life in the hashtag and it'll count as one of your entries, but only do it up to three times. And uh, and then we that way we can see who's going to win tonight. The wise guy CD. So do that throughout the broadcast. And remember, you get three chances. So, But hey, Frank, like, gosh, let's talk about any. You know, we go back, man. I remember it was. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Marco! I think he fell asleep, man. He looks like with his eyes. Oh, well, he did just have a show. <laughs> he just got off the show, tired. so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, I think he was about to ask, uh, well, maybe, because I don't know the story. Yep. When did you guys first meet and, and sort of connect? Marco? Uh, you know what? We've been around for a while. The band, the Wise Guys, have been around. Uh, I don't know, Mark. Do you want to ask the question, or was it Mark? Go for it, just in case I get cut off again. Go ahead and. and um, got, 
New so Orleans. So when, when we first met, about here. right. So um, the our band, the Wise, has been around for thirty years. Believe it or not, we started off like a a, a pet band, a rebirth, uh, a brass band, Marco. You know, in New Orleans, that's that was kind of our goal at first, and then um, it just kind of evolved into the big band, and then me singing. I used to actually play the tuba before, so I can't wait to go to New Orleans and show off what I got, brother. You yeah, know, nice. Uh, uh, extra play it, you know. Anyhow, yeah, um, so that's how we started, and then we started doing shows at this place in uh, Uptown Whittier uh, called Memories. You know, uh, I don't know, Mark, was it like over 10 years ago at least, right, man? Ooh, it was a while ago. This was, I mean, the first time Fat Cat ever played Memories was in 2004 for a private party, mm -hmm. and then we started doing 2005 every month because I remember it was live in 2005. They did right, right. band every night of the week, every, yeah, year, yeah. every Friday, Saturday or something like wow. that. We, we were, yeah, we actually went up to, um, I forgot the gentleman's guy's name. I, I had him back in my head, but um, Lee and Essex. John, yeah. Then Lee and Essex had the, the dance team, the memory swing uh, 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 swing team. And uh, we asked them, hey, you know, can we play here? And, uh, you know, we have never done before. Because at the time, there wasn't really that many venues where, where you could play big band, let alone an 18-piece band, you know. There yeah. was a derby. But even when we played at the derby, man, we, oh, we, yes. and we played there. We squeezed ourselves in there. But it was a tough one. Um, but at Memories, you know, we had the stage and everything. So, we, you know, that's how we met Fat Cat Swinger. They played there. And then, like you said, yeah, it was like live 2005. We played there for like a whole year. Every, what, I think first of the month, we played there yeah. for like one year. Big Sandy, who's coming up next. Yeah, I played there a yeah. couple times as well. So there was all these great bands that used to play there. But I remember Fat Cat Swinger was, was one of the bands that we used to go check out ourselves. And I think vice versa. And, uh, you know, a, a friendly competition that we had just, you know, because we we, uh, we both uh, enjoyed each other's music. And we, we were so much alike, you know. Um, and these guys, you know, we seen them when, when uh, I guess, when they first started. And to see, you know, Marco and the, and the rest of the guys do what they do uh it's crazy bro you know i'm, I'm real proud of you because you kept on going and and you know look at yourself not where you're at and, and doing all this all this wonderful stuff not only for yourself but with the band so you know i always get a kick out of that man especially when it's this kind of music that you don't really get to see that much of you know um uh you know it, it's always good to see see that and helping each other like I'm, I'm again thank you again for bringing me on here on this show and and and, and showcasing the band and, and my frankie's on show um, because a lot of times there's a lot of bands out there that don't want to help each other out. They just kind of just want to, you know, worry about themselves and kind of affect the music scene and uh, they get little uh, egos and stuff like that. And uh, it's always good to, to run into musicians and people that, you know, not only do you respect, but also have the same kind of uh, uh, desire that you want to keep the music going. Because a lot of this music nowadays, you rarely, rarely hear live music nowadays, man. You know, right. um, hopefully now with the, now that the COVID's gone and people actually saw you know what it is to be without live music or live entertainment mm -hmm. they friends and and family and 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 people that you know quote unquote support you will stop asking for for a for a guest list and actually pay the <laughs> five dollars to, yeah. to get in you know and because uh, it goes a long way man i have a lot of musicians right. that that suffered um through through that um through that uh um uh, the COVID, you know not just not yeah. not working and not doing anything not only them security guards People who work backstage, uh, stage managers, uh, lighting guys, yeah, engineers. Everybody. The whole everybody. industry was affected. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and then, uh, like I said, hopefully those people um, people come out again and uh, and appreciate the live music, whatever it may be, whatever genre it may be. Uh, mm -hmm. And hopefully more so, like even for like we're big man, you know, um, or swing. Uh, you know, I, I think it's a different kind of people. You got young and old, different uh, races and everything like that. It's, it's rare when I see a security guard go nuts in one of our shows because everyone's not having such a good time or you know you're in like a fat cat show you know it's because people are it's not it's a different vibe it's than so from, different from other shows you know mm -hmm. and uh I, I hope that that you know again now that things are opening up uh people start coming out showing support reposting stuff online it doesn't cost anything <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so I'm, I'm a big advocate for that and again once again i, I thank you for for bringing me here and uh, letting me talk about a little bit about the wise guys and and the frankie's on show man because uh um you know, I think we should do that, you know, with with, uh, with people all over. Absolutely, man. I'll tell you, if uh, if you can hear me, I know my mic's a little low. I'm, I've got a different yeah. setup today. But, um, you know, I, you talk about all the things that it takes to, to, to make sure that these shows happen from we got to buy those tickets. We got to make sure, you know, support the venue itself because the venue it, it, in, at the end of the day, they got to make some money to be able to make these shows happen. So you got to order your drinks, order your, you know, uh, you know, take care of the staff, everything. Cause yeah, you got to pay the all, staff. It's all connected. The, the the servers, everybody, everybody. It's a whole team, and that's why one of the things we do in our Fat Cat show, at the end, is uh, when we when we introduce the band, we also like to make sure that we give a shout out to 
everybody who works in front of and behind the scenes to make any show possible because it's it's all together all of us yeah. are working together to bring these shows to everybody and we got to make sure that we can continue to support that and and i know you've got some shows coming up too like when uh, am I am I correct in saying you guys are going to be booked at Cicada Club pretty soon? At Cicada Club, yeah. Let me just check. Yeah, out. a few times actually throughout the. Yeah, uh, well, I, I know for for the Wise Guy combo that we have right now, it's not the 18 piece band because because of the COVID. When they hired us to play at the park, you know, we can't yeah. get all 18 guys. Can you guys cut it down? So we have an eight piece combo, but it's still the mm. same thing. Not obviously the full blown band, but pretty much the same idea. So yeah. on July 24th, we're playing in in Azusa summer concerts. On the 29th, we're playing in Bell Garden summer concerts. On uh, July 31st, we're playing in West Covina summer concerts. And in the Cicada Club, we're playing in September 10th, September 24th, uh, November 13th, November, and November 20th. And awesome. hopefully more shows to come. But yeah, those are the shows that we got lined up. And you can find that at, at the Wise Guys um, Big Band.com on the Facebook and in the Instagram. We we'll always post it, them up. And also on the Frank the, page. Is it the Wise Guys Big oh, Band.com? Wise, Wise Guys Big Band.com wiseguysbigband.com yeah. yeah and we have the link in the description and by the way you, we also have um his socials and everything so make sure you follow frankie make sure you follow wise guys big band so you can see these shows you know i'm i uh, went to school in azusa um okay. where are you guys playing in azusa uh, it's uh we usually play at the park this one is called the uh, north side park oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so that uh, awesome. that would be from seven to nine there and uh yeah, so that's in two weeks from now, and it's always a fun. We've been doing that show for like at least twelve years now, except for last year again, obviously. Yeah, nice. um, yeah, they, yeah. yeah, we were the first bands they called back. The only thing that they asked if it was the band could be a little bit smaller, mm -hmm. uh, cool. to obviously the COVID. But um, Is it hopefully it? things open up a little bit more. We could get the whole guys, you know, all the guys. I gotta ask, Frankie. You know, you and I, we were so used to working with such a big fat sound, right? Yeah, and what is it like when you I, I don't know if it feels the same for you but when when you go out and you have to perform with a smaller combo what do you feel like what is that like it's, for you when you oh no you know what i, I i've been spoiled man you know because i ever since i started singing i've had an 18 piece band you know yeah. so it's just like okay cool you know you get all the horns all the sound you know, all the brass all the woodwinds and then all of a sudden you go out with the little combo and you and you know the keyboard player is making up that it, 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 it's cool but it's not the same you know because you're just right, using, right. Like, being blown away you're so used you're still used yeah. to that big fat sound and i and, tell you like, even the energy that the band brings you know i'm sure like <laughs> with you guys it's like you know you kind of want to do something and the guys are just kind of chilling and it's like oh, okay this is this, <laughs> this is a different groove here but you know unless it's still the same but yeah yeah of course yeah you miss the the the, 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 the you know the, the, the wall of music coming behind you is right. blaring at you and the camaraderie with the cats that you have with the, in the band it, you know you can't beat that you know I think with this whole COVID thing, you know, one of the things I miss the most, uh, not only in the, the audience, because you obviously feed off the audience, but uh, the camaraderie that you have with the with the guys in the band. You know, mo mm -hmm. uh, most of the guys in my band have been at least ten years, if not more. Um, so we all know each other. You know, we've been into when, when you know someone got married, someone had kids, you know, uh, baptisms, all that stuff, birthday parties. Yeah. Um, we've seen each other grow up. You know, for the majority yeah. of, our, our, of our, our career as as uh, as a wise guys. So we, a lot of us, have grew up together. Like myself, obviously, my brother Art, who's uh, the, the drummer, drummer. Uh, director, and then uh, the lead trumpet player Robert. Those, we are the three original guys that started this. We've been with the band 31 years, if you don't count the uh, last 30 years. But sure. and then after that, we have another trumpet player that's been with the band 29. You know, so the the the, the years of the guys in the band, you know, we've. Uh, we we stuck together and through thick and thin. Some of them, some of them have left, uh, you know, to pursue other 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 careers. They they just want, they didn't want to play anymore or just decided to do something else. But um, they're you know they're wise guys. So when we run into them on the streets or they'll come to their shows after a while and they're like you know hey man you know we'll get to know their kids and they're like hey I was a wise guy once you know and it's, it's family we always, man. Yeah, we tell the guys you know you're once a wise guy always a wise always guy. Always a wise guy. Same yeah. with the yeah. fat cats man. It's, it's like, it's like camaraderie, <laughs> the camaraderie and the brotherhood of of, of, of us. So that's that's. Yeah. That's that's what I miss the most, man. Just uh, hanging Absolutely. out with the guys before, during, and after the show, especially after the show. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Totally. Salud, guys. I you know, I got a little bit of a delay on my side. Apologies, but uh, you know, I love um, I love that hearing that because it's it, it, everything you're saying. I, I'm personally relating to, and I know I'm pretty sure Mark is getting to relate to as well. As we brought him into the Fat Cat family, he's our newest cat, by the way. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, we. <laughs> I saw so that. Welcome. Yeah, and uh, but it's been fun. I, I'm I'm so glad when we get out there and we get to bring Mark in the shows and uh, and, and and expose him to the whole Fat Cat, you know. Uh, yeah, the, the Fat Cat universe you guys got there. I mean, you guys got the the fans. 
back at university too with uh we've had a couple of guest artists kind of come on the stage of the last couple shows uh mm -hmm. with uh with natalie a saxophone player and then who do we have playing bass the other day oh there was this kid I don't, I don't remember i don't know lakshmi if you're on the on, on the bright live stream let us know who that was there was this young kid he was like 13 or 14 years old and uh lakshmi let him come up and play the bass and he did the uh, everybody wants to be a cat with us and then we let him do a solo and man this kid was slapping like lee rocker uh just <laughs> doing a slap solo it was amazing we we're like yeah. blown away 13 or 14 years old just That's jumping up on stage with us you know, hey, well, congratulations, Mark, man. I can't wait to see you. Uh, I've seen some of the videos that you guys have posted, but I got to see you guys live again, man. You guys have always felt like a good, uh, like I said, uh, ener energetic show for, for one thing. Um, but uh, yeah, man, it's always good. And, and to me, it's always good to see another band play because I don't have to play, man. I can actually just get back. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> go knock yourself out, guys. You know, don't you want to yeah. dance, man? I, I got I got to say though, I'm going to throw this out there just because uh, because we got three crooners in the house right now. One of these days, it would be awesome to have you come up there and maybe sing a song with us, and, oh, uh, and maybe even do a trio or something. You know what I mean? Yes, do it, man. That'd be my pleasure to go on stage with you guys. That'd be awesome. It's a uh, it's a uh, long overdue, I think, man, and, and and vice versa. You guys could come up and and do a couple tunes with my, with my boys over here, and uh, and let people you know know that the, there's more than uh, one one singers you know and there's more than one band around it just that there's bands around man just to check them out you know that's that's that yeah. overall I, uh, yeah I, that's, that's, that's been one of my favorite share, things about doing this yeah. yeah it's one of my favorite things about doing this show right here is that we have been taking time to uh introduce and and show our fans all of the bands that we know all of the singers that we know all of the performers in, in some way or another from east coast to west coast and i think we even had friends all the way from london about a month or so ago uh That's performers right. and it's so fun to introduce everybody because i feel like as big as this world is we're such a small community and and i think yeah. uh, you know the more we stick together the farther we can go together you know what i mean no no definitely man and i i, I like I said that, that earlier, you know, it's just, it's uh, supporting one another and uh, instead of bashing one another and whatnot, um, it just, you know, it doesn't cost anything to share something on Instagram or Facebook. Maybe someone exactly. that that's never heard of, of, of a fat cat swinger or the wise guys, vice versa, or whatever, would be like, hey, you know what? Let me let me check them out. That's, they're they're going to be by my park. You know, they're going to be in Azusa. Let, let me mm -hmm. we'll have a picnic with the kids, you know. And yeah. uh, you know, I, I guarantee you, they're not going to be disappointed with either one of the, of the of the bands or anything like that if they like that kind of music. Uh, because I mm -hmm. think we play the music not only fun, but but also have a lot of respect for the for the for the showmanship and the music that we perform. Mm -hmm. Both our bands do. They've always had that, and I think that's why I think we've lasted so long. Not only Fat Cat Swinger, but us, because uh, and people uh, you know not follow us but support us because um, it's a, they're fun shows. You know, no matter how you swing it, um, yeah. they've always been fun fun shows and and uh, i think that's why people keep coming back to to all of our shows you know mm -hmm. fat cats and, and wise guys and and uh you know follow you with Louis prima and, and 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 whatnot and even to my frankie's lounge shows you know because they know it's just going to be a good time you know there's no stress have a drink and, and if you're on a date have a good time and hopefully go home and close yeah. the deal yeah <laughs> I, I gotta ask if i may um i, I want to dig into to frankie here what what was one of the first songs you can remember that inspired you to sing? What was one of the ones that you just that like I don't know was it was it Mac the Knife. on the radio? Was it Mac the Knife? Tell tell us take us back well, to Michael, the day that sing, you first heard. Well, I, I, well, Michael Jackson was you know obviously uh, a big influence. I mean, that's back when I was a kid. That guy was everywhere. Obviously, I don't sing like Michael Jackson, but um, this kind of sound music, the one that the one song that always uh, stuck out to me and was like, my first uh, song that I sang even in karaoke. Uh, was Mac the Knife actually singing Mac the Knife at a karaoke bar? I think was what got me singing. Big band, uh, my made me my brother notice that hey, you know, I could sing this, and that I used to just do it for um, <laughs> for a you know, karaoke bar, right? I would do it for the owner of this bar that I used to, we used to go at to when I was uh, when I was younger. Uh, he was an older gentleman and he used to like that kind of music. And I did Mac the Knife just on, as a one off, as a goof off, and he loved the way I sang it. So when I went back to the next night, he's like, Hey, Frank, you know, can you sing that song again? I'll get you a pitcher of beer. Yeah. Nice. Sure, you know, you know, thank you, sir. And uh, I did that, so then I started doing well. Let me try it. That's life. Let me try the summer one and start doing all these songs. And I've noticed that uh, you know, there was a crowd for it, people were like, Hey, you know, and at the time, what wise guys were, were kind of uh, transitioning in from like a kind of like a pep band into more of a big band and, and whatnot. So we started doing that. But the one song that that, that I could remember that okay, that said, like, Okay, dude, you, you might guide have something here was Mac the Knife. That just uh, just Bobby Darren and he was uh, 
it's always been one of my favorites a very underrated singer i think and uh she mm-hmm. get more mm-hmm. than but yeah. um but definitely uh yeah i would say but, but as a kid would maybe maybe want to sing i don't know man michael jackson was was a <laughs> michael jackson you know, uh, uh, david, david lee roth you know uh you know back in 1984 album and so yeah it was it is a lot of stuff but i i didn't really think I was much of a singing i used to play guitar for a while and then once when i was in band in high school i played tuba so I wasn't. I actually didn't even make the choir. I tried. I was. I wanted to oh. try out, and the teacher uh, told me that she was too busy, and and I was oh. like a freshman kid, right? Because um, everyone made the choir, and I just went, you know, excuse me, miss, you know, can, and she said, I'll come back later, blah blah blah. And I was like, okay, I'm not coming back here. And oh. I went. I went to the next door, which was the band, uh, the band room, and uh-huh. I asked the teacher, uh, "Do you need a, a band manager?" Because I was already too late for for band. And then he's all like, "Yeah." So I was the, you know, I was a roadie. I earned my stripes <laughs> and, yeah. and then he's all like hey do you want to learn how to play tuba you know which was at the time the furthest thing away from my brother because he played drums everyone wanted yeah. me to play drums and that wasn't gonna happen man i'm not, i'm totally different from my bro so i thought too i was like yeah i could it would be downstairs with the cheerleaders and let's do it you know like, uh. i'll figure it out so, <laughs> <laughs> so that's how i went so yeah singing wise it came at a later age yeah. uh but it came more so like uh just for fun and then and I just kind of said to myself, hey, you know what? I might guess I got something here. And and uh, a lot of people believed in me when I didn't and just told me that, you know, hey, you know, keep on doing it and keep on going. Uh, one yeah. of them was a, a gentleman that just passed away. If you ever heard of the group Tierra, which is a, a, a big band here in East L.A., um, they have that, that hit together. Uh-huh. Um, he was one of my big supporters that told me that, you know, Frank, stop. when we first recorded our CD, uh, I was all nervous, you know, because I'm like, what am I doing here? And he was one of the guys that come, you know, hey, this, you're here for a reason, blah, blah, blah. And then after that, just kind of things became, you know, easy. You, you just got to start trusting yourself and start saying, well, why not? You know, you, uh, you're here and whoever's complaining about you is in the stands, you know, so you have fun and, and make the best of it. So, yeah, I, I just been blessed and very, very lucky and very lucky and grateful that I have the guys behind me, you know, with the band, because um, I don't think everybody gets a, that chance to perform with an 18 piece band that trusts me enough to not only talk to them, but sing for them. You know? yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I think we should uh, take you back to your uh, karaoke roots. And uh, we've got a game that uh, we'd like to play with you. What do you say, Marco? Is it time to bring on Mr. Daps? Let's do it. Let's bring on Mr. Daps Daps. and roll that tape for the game. Welcome, Mr. Daps. <laughs> Thank you. It's Hello. game time. Hello. This is this is one of my favorite games, and we are going to have a blast tonight because uh, we are in three completely different locations, and uh, the more variables we have during a game, the funnier I think it gets. So um, I just think, like, Marco has an early lead just for the fact... <laughs> That, that, you know, the internet's not completely working in his favor. So congratulations, Marco, for 50 points what? Uh, before the game even started. started. <laughs> Mr. <Woo>! Dabs. <laughs> I, I think he's earned it. I mean, running straight from the show, hopping in the car, it, like, I, I think you've earned it tonight, Marco. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I appreciate yeah, yeah, it. Much appreciated. <laughs> we'll see how far that gets you, but... Uh... <laughs> So the way this game works, it's the crooner challenge. It's one of our favorites. I am going to uh, suggest a song for one of our crooners to sing and then suggest how they should sing it. And tonight, um, because we do have a guest that we love very much, I am going to invite Mark to go first. Man, I always go first on these. Let's do it. <laughs> well, All right. I, I bring it up. Bring it on. You know? I get 50 okay. points for going first, though, right? Yeah. Nah. Ah, whatever. I'm just going to blink at the screen and see what happens. All right. Um, how about it had to be you? Ooh. Because it does have to be you going first. Okay. okay. And, right. it had to be and you. I think I would love to hear you sing this as Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh, oh my goodness. I feel like these go together really well. <laughs> no, sorry, we're doing it. It had to be you. It had to be you. Uh, where's the room? It had to be you. I 
went around and finally found that uh, somebody who. Who oh. make me be true? Who huh? make me be blue? Or even be glad just to be sad looking for you? Ah, oh, matey, <laughs> some of those I've seen while me last season, they might never be mean or quite as good looking as you. Oh, okay, we're done with that. <laughs> Very well done, Mark. Did that, wow. did that, did that pass the test? Wait. It did pass the test. It was okay. you. I, I'm glad to hear that. Good, um, good, I think good. we're going to give you a strong start with 150 points, Mark. Hey! I'll take that. That's hey. a very respectable wow. start. Even very though respectable. We you you may not have gotten here. an applause, but we still appreciate you. Oh, if man. We got an applause, man. Marco, are I'm you sorry, throwing was, shade at me now? Uh, <laughs> I was trying to bartend myself a drink while here while this is happening. But I, we got to tell well, our audience what's happening though behind the scenes. Because if somebody doesn't pass the test, we need them. We need our audience to tell us, and then what's going to happen? Let's show them what happens. This goes back to our roots with Frankie and me, at least. <laughs> oh man, we don't want to get that one, man. You don't want that one. No pressure. <laughs> So that'd be automatic negative points, I'm pretty sure. Is that how it works? Would, yeah. Oh. Tonight, tonight we have the pop. But Mark passed the test, so we're okay. <laughs> yes. So Man, I'm gonna be watching the comments tonight. and obviously I'll be I'll be thinking for myself as well. Um, yes. but we will we will see what happens. All right. Uh All right. how about Frankie? Would you like to go next? <laughs> sure. He's like, sure, why not? Um, how <laughs> about uh well, do you have, I don't know if we actually have this on our list, but I feel like I should have asked you to do Mac the Knife. But um, how about clump, Come Fly With Me? Okay. Yep. Come Fly With Me. And uh, would you do that as, um, I don't know, maybe uh, Mickey Mouse? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, boy. <laughs> See? There you go. Oh, man. That was good. Let's do it. <clears throat> oh, man. <laughs> Oh wow. Let me see if I can get it. Yeah, see me? We hear you, we don't hear the music yet. But that's okay uh, oh, if you want to just sing it out. There's a little bit of delay at the beginning, if okay, I remember okay. correctly. Let me see here. So it it will be there. It will be there. There it is. Right? Well, that's yeah, the there it is. Fly me to the moon. Let me play amongst them stars. Let me see what the is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, oh my hand. In other words, baby, kiss me, Mickey, baby, kiss me. Fill my heart with song. Let me sing forevermore. Ooh, all I long for, all I worship, and I hold it. Other words, please be true. Come on, come on. Thank you. Well done, sir. <laughs> All right. I think that Man. has to go in the wise guys big band set. That that was incredible. Yeah. Uh, what did I give you, Mark? Two hundred fifty points. You gave me one hundred and fifty. One hundred fifty. No. This is two hundred and fifty because of going oh, above and beyond with oh boy talking to Pluto oh, magic boy. ears. Yeah. Um, <laughs> early well, lead. I, Marcos, I Marcos. Once my dad used to buy me when I used to go to Disney and I couldn't afford it, so he used to go like, hey, so I just put your hats in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks, That's Pops. It. Came in handy. Well played. So good. Well played. Really good sport. All right, Marco, Cheers. the bar is very high now. All right, and the bar oh, is man. loading right now. We're loaded up. We got a drink here. Cheers to anybody who's out there drinking tonight. I feel salute, like salute. that would have been very helpful with Jack Sparrow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, that's right. okay. What's the challenge? All right. Um, how about Unforgettable? We haven't heard that one in a long time, have we? Oh. I don't know yeah. if we've ever heard that. Yeah. Um, how about Unforgettable as um, 
the Hulk. <laughs> uh oh, in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Don't break the bar. <laughs> Just, okay. just sing like the Hulk. Right, Don't act gotta, like the Hulk. Okay, okay. I can't act because this Uh-oh. is not my. If this were my home, exactly, we'd be in trouble. The suits are picking up the bill. <laughs> I can't smash the house here, guys. This is too no, nice a place no to smashing smash of houses. It. But okay, all right. So we said unforgettable, right? The sun's going the, down. Uh, let me see yeah. if my band, my musical director, music, excuse me, musical director. Do you know? Do you know this song? I think they do. I think they do. Wow, we have a music director now? Oh, up up. <laughs> Hulk smash! Unforgettably. Hulk smash! <laughs> because I can't <laughs> smash anything else, I smash this lemon. Smash! <laughs> Hulk smash! <laughs> Hulk smash, unforgettable. <laughs> Hulk smash, unforgettable. Hulk smash, and Hulk smash. Did I mention Hulk smash? <laughs> unforgettable. <laughs> I can't get mad enough. I'm too happy right now. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna shrink into Bruce Banner and then try and sing every word. Oh, oh. <laughs> wait! I tell you, I'm Bruce Banner now. I don't know That's Bruce Banner. Banner. It's wow. incredible. At someone so unforgettable. Good something. Oh, no. Hulk Smash is getting <laughs> mad because I forgot the lyrics. Hulk, Hulk Smash! <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, man. I passed the test. <laughs> no, I you think uh, Bruce test. Banner, he has an, a PhD in music. That was great. <laughs> that was, that was, that's the first time we've had two characters in one what? for a yeah. song on here. You gave me the so for that, you're getting an extra 50 points. So you get 200 points, which puts Woo! you at 250, tying you with Frankie. Uh, Mark, it's your turn to uh, surpass all of them, right? Wow. Okay. Well, Oof. okay. I'll, I'll have to um, be the strongest Avenger here to be able to. Yeah, I, I, I think you've got this. Okay. Um, okay. I saw a, ch- a comment that, that inspired me. Uh-oh. And um, I think we're going to do the song. How about, um, well, I don't care. How about uh, Come Fly With Me? Okay. Can you do it as the comment suggested as Groot? <gasps> okay. All right. All right. All right. I am Groot. I am Groot. I'm Groot. I'm Groot. I'm Groot. I'm Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. Well played, sir. Very well played. I dare say that was your most fantastic performance here on the Fat Cat Swinger Show. Whoa! Really? Would, would you agree, Marco? I, I think I, that was... And because we, of that, I feel like I have to give you 350 points. Oh, he's got it. Oh, Whoa. my gosh! It's, it's not even my birthday. Thanks, Mr. Depp. <laughs> <laughs> Part of that was because you threw stuff, by the way. Like Thank that was. You. Uh, I think I missed my calling. I think I'm gonna have to be in the next Avengers. 
<laughs> there you go. <laughs> you took very good lessons from Marco. I did. Uh, you know, you would have gotten 500 points if you'd have dumped something on your head. Yeah, I don't. I don't have any water or anything here, but uh, yeah. You know, I just felt bad for Marco. He can't smash anything over there, so yeah. <laughs> this is just my bedroom, so I can break anything I want. Thank That's you, fair. Thank you. That's fair. Yeah. All right, Frankie. How about the way you look tonight? Okay. Um, as you're doing really good with the cartoon thing, so let's go with Bugs Bunny. How's that sound? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Bugs Bunny. Ah, oh, gee. The way you look tonight, right? Yes, yeah. Sir. Does the musical director know that one? Here we go. All right. I think he we does. Can hope. Okay. Same guy. Yeah. Yeah. Same guy. <laughs> All right. I see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's go. Yeah, someday, dark. When I'm off below, that's horrible, folks. When the world is cold, I will feel a glow just thinking of you. I uh, just the way you look. Tonight, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, you're lovely with your smile so warm, and you cheat so soft. Yeah, with nothing more me but to love you. Wait, well, that sounds more fun, man. <laughs> <laughs> Someone play the trumpet for me. Put me out of my misery, man. <laughs> we'll give it to you. That was good. That was good. You got it. You got it. Thank you, guys. Oh, Lord. But, but since nobody got it, I feel like we just have to do it just because it was. It's ah, dude, that one deserved it, man. Jeez. No, we still got one. Marco still has to be one more, right? Well, Marco, this one more? is, this is okay. the final one. You were okay, last. Okay. All right, all right. So what do we watch got? out. The trumpet may come for you. This okay. one might be shorter just because of the nature of what it is. Um, uh -oh. It's a short, short person character thing. Um, I would like to hear, uh, they can't take that away from me. Uh oh. As R2D2. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yes. You, you don't have to do a long version of this. You can do a short version. I'm here for this. Me too. All right. All right. All right. We're working it out. I'm checking with the band. Here we go. All right. Never heard this one. <laughs> we will give it to you, Marco. I love that. Man, Arthur got kind of mad there. For that, was, that was impressive. <laughs> yeah. You could have a second career in voiceover, I well, think. I don't know. Right. <laughs> All right. So I realized I didn't give uh, Frankie points, and Marco, you deserve points. So I'm giving you an extra 200 points, Marco. Frankie, for being such a great sport and doing such wonderful voices, I'm going to give you an extra 400 points. For a grand total of resorts uh, in the plot. Thank you, guys. You are a big winner tonight. Thank you for playing. Thank you, Frankie. And well done, Frankie. Thank you, Mr. No problem, Matt, guys. for the fun suggestions. There we go. But uh, Frankie, gosh, I hope you had a wonderful time with us on tonight. I we got to do our giveaway real quick so we can bring on our next guest That's here. Right. This has been so much fun. We're, we're just going overtime, but we're having some fun. Uh, but, you know, why don't we go through the comments and we're going to look for That's Life. And you got to treat it like Wheel of Fortune and just kind of scroll through there and look for a uh, hashtag That's Life. And we're going to find somebody. If they happen to fit into that large T-shirt, one of the last ones available at Frankie's Lounge, we're sending you that. And if not, we're going to get you a... Uh, uh, Wise Guys album there. So let's get a drum roll going. Mr. Frankie, pick them in the comments over there. Uh, I get on my hair. How do I get? I don't even see them. In oh, here. it's in your comments on the top right. You either private chat or go to the comments. Oh, got yeah. you, got you, got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And scroll it, scroll okay. it like your wheel of fortune. Look for the for look for whichever one you can. That's life. Okay, let me see here. Uh, Anna Palma. 
Anna Palmer. Anna Palmer. Hey. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> so Anna, we're going to get in touch with you, and we'll either get you the CD or uh, the shirt, whichever one uh, we can work out. So, yeah, right. you know, what? why don't we right. do just one more giveaway, one more disc? Go ahead and scroll through and see if you can find any other ones. All right, let's see. drum roll. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Liz Parisiodo. Par I don't miss her. Mm. Parciotto. Liz Parciotto. I'm sorry. Hey, that's a new Liz viewer Parcioto. here tonight. Parcioto. Liz, make sure to leave us a comment so we can get in touch with you. Uh, let us know if it's on Instagram or somewhere. But the best thing to do is write us on Instagram, and we're going to get in touch with you, and we'll either get you one of those shirts or a CD as well. So, gosh, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, Frankie, did you have a good time? I had a wonderful time. Mark, Marcos, thank you so much, man, for, for having me here on your show. Uh, I had Dude. a blast. Thank you, Mr. Daps. Thank you, sir, for the wonderful game. And, uh, guys, much success, and I hope to see you guys on the road and on shows. And let's get together, man. Let's make Dude, it happen. It's not just on the same thing. stage together. And, uh, let's do it in real life. Yeah, man. And, it, but if you everyone out there, make sure that you support live music. Absolutely. <laughs> <Right>? Yes. <laughs> All right. Make sure to follow <laughs> the links, everybody. And once again, let's get some round of applause going for Frankie Baraja. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Woo. What All a ride, right. huh? <laughs> what a show it has been, and we're not even done. We're not even done. <laughs> we're gonna maybe, hopefully, Mr. Big Sandy doesn't mind going a little overtime, but we're gonna have a good time. And I say, you know what? Why don't we just jump right into it and roll that tape? Yeah, let's do it, Mr. Jeff. Yeah. Well, all the stars are out tonight, and everybody's high. I wish I may, I wish I might, feeling kind of lucky. Self-side, you gentlemen, let me pass on by. Well, I'm looking out for women that feeling kind of lucky. So I'm gonna win now. Do I may likely now? Everybody, let's welcome Big Sandy. <laughs> wow. Well, this is that's it. That was fun just waiting in the green room there, just just check taking the <laughs> that, was, that was funny, man. That was good. Good job, you guys. That's good. You're probably thinking, what have I signed up for right yeah. now? <laughs> well, I, I've checked the show out before, so I, I knew to uh be ready for anything. So, <laughs> <laughs> good, good, Thank good. you so much for doing the show. I gotta say it's an honor to have you on the show. I'm so excited. You know, we met many years ago um at Whittier, actually the same place that I met Frankie, um at, at Whittier at Memories. And memories, yeah. All yeah. the memories, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Memories of Whittier. My favorite thing was I go up to you and I say, I say, Hey, can I play a song with you? And you looked at me, you're like, Are you drunk or are you for reals? And I was like, I'm like <laughs> play. And I got up there, we played Yama Yama Pretty Mama. At, uh, and then you invited me to play with you at the Derby that same weekend on that Sunday. And, uh, man, I was so excited to do so. And, and that kind of began our friendship there. And, and Marco, that and that led to a few other things over the years. And, and we uh, and I think it still remains. It just hasn't happened uh, for a little while. But you are uh, on call always if, you know, sometimes a situation will, will, will come up where they, they where the, the people who are the, the promoter will request another instrument, a sax. You, you, you're, you're our guy. So it, it still remains, oh, my man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> it's an honor to be a part of that. But uh, so I don't know if you've met Mark officially, but this is Mark Kapitsky, our, one of our singers for Fat Cats Player. I feel like I know him so well, so just for the show. And, and you know, uh, yeah, uh, the the live the the live performance live streams, and yeah, it's there's so many people that I've gotten to know over the last you know what what has it been 15, 16 months that I, I actually have not met in person yet. Yeah. I, and we may have or may not have Mark, but there's so many people that I really do feel like I've gotten to know uh, during this whole whole mess that I have not had the pleasure uh, to meet in person, to shake hands, to give a hug to. Uh, but yes, I, I feel like uh, we're connected in in a way that hasn't happened before. So no, yeah. absolutely, I feel the same way. Uh, how Frankie was saying how there's this year has been tough, but there's been so many blessings, you know, and uh, getting to be be able to get to know people virtually. But I tell you, whenever I get to meet someone in person, that I did get to know sort of over the internet. It's always like, oh my gosh, you're real. You're not just <laughs> <my> imagination. <Yeah. laughs> It's one of the good things that has happened uh, d during this. I mean, a horrible situation, right? Yeah. Um, but 
there were some people that uh, I felt connected with that led to me trying to. Uh, well, I'll tell you, I, I just I just came here, just like you, Marco. I had a show. Yeah. Right before this, uh, I had a we had a band on on our show, West Coast Ramble, uh, called Los Blancos, uh, with a, with the lead singer Becky Lynn Blanca. Is that Becky? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, she started doing her daily, every single day, her live stream at, at wow. one o'clock in the afternoon every day through 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 the whole the whole mess, and. She was just so uplifting and encouraging and positive. I actually made a decision early on uh, in the lockdown, like I, I love what she's putting across. I'm going to choose to be positive and, and uplifting, and and in turn, hopefully, uh, uh, inspire other people to to make that same decisions. I thank her for that, but I think that that's been happening back and forth with with a lot a lot of us. Yeah, yeah, I love it. So you guys do. So what's the schedule of the West Coast West Coast Ramble? How do you guys do that? Well, it, it it started out as a regular weekly thing. Actually, it, it's it it goes back. I, I, we're on episode like eighty or something like that. So it, it went. It was originally just a, an audio podcast, okay. and uh, the the guy Tom Al Almanzar who puts it together, he made the leap uh, to video right before everything shut down. So he was kind of poised to jump right into it when there was no actual live shows. Um, so. Through most of the the lockdown year uh, months, it, it, it was weekly. Now it's a regular. Uh, he's back to work, so it's whenever he can do it. Mm -hmm. um, and and today was uh, it's not usually on Wednesday, but today was like our the uh, like a special edition, so we could have Los Blancos on. Oh, yeah. nice, nice. So that worked out nicely because you got to go from seven to eight. Now you're here uh, eight to nine with us, enjoying enjoying the evening. See? <laughs> it, it all works together somehow it's and it's all, and like somebody one of you said earlier somehow it all it's like it's all connected it somehow things do all tie together you know um mm -hmm. for the good people i exactly. hope right exactly exactly it does yeah. it's, it always works out somehow and uh, i mean here we are i got to say one like i mentioned earlier one of my favorite things about having done this show is the way that we've been able to connect with people do that little bit of positive uh, uplifting thing and you know season one what we call season one we did on instagram and it was only one host and one guest at a time because that's okay. what instagram allowed us to do but uh but then we decided this season we wanted to go to season you know bring both mark and i on the show and, and have more guests and, and start doing these fun silly games and stuff just because you know it's we're here at home whether we're home or even even if we're finally able to get back out again if we have something to you know anchor down to that we could uh connect with our friends and just have some fun and let loose and it's just been one of those things that's uh like mark said you know it's been a blessing uh, out of this whole situation that's allowed us to connect together and i feel uh you know when i meet people that i've only met online for the first time i almost feel like i know them so well just because yeah. of the time we've been able to spend online do you feel that too uh, i do uh and maybe you you both both of you or everybody working with, with the show uh, it feels the same way like it's so wonderful to get the feedback from people and so many people i've told uh, have let us know how much uh, the live streams have helped them to get through difficult times yeah. well it, well but isn't it the truth that we're getting just as much as not if yeah. not more back really so it goes both ways but sometimes i feel like i'm so blessed to be doing this yeah. Absolutely. I, I so resonate with that. I mean, yeah, we would get messages every once in a while of people just saying, uh, you know, how the show has helped them laugh or, you know, getting to meet such interesting other musicians and everything. But I have to say, you know, sometimes the show was really tough to do after sort of, you know, yeah. a few months ago when we were really in the thick of this thing. And it was like, OK, I don't know if I can be out here and happy on the, the stream. But ha and just knowing that I had that to look forward to every week really helped me i mean selfishly just coming out here and just knowing that other people are going to be out there and and then after the show i was always so jazzed you know so i i totally resonate with that as well yeah, yeah. And, and and i have to compliment you on the show you've been that what you have here i haven't seen uh i don't know is it still is season one still available can i can i binge yeah. watch uh, season one? Yeah. Uh, it's on instagram but, but it's I, instagram, I, yeah. i've only started to to watch uh you know you've had some wonderful women on the show over the last uh, se several weeks and that that well i'm more likely to tune in when that's the case yeah. <laughs> uh, well make sure but, you tune in next week but, then but, but but the production the production it, it just looks great it feels great and uh it's uh it's like a show it like feels like a show so congrats Good. congratulations on, on all Thank involved you. 
Thank you for saying oh, that. You man. know, I got to give credit over here to Mark. Mark brought all the sparkle to the show. He does these <laughs> wonderful edits and, and makes these videos uh, that we do, well, like the intro that we did for you and everything. And, and well, I was going to yeah. say, I just sent you a bunch of dumb pictures and some, and some old video clips. You make it look like, oh, that looks like something. That looks official. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you sent over some good material, and we've got some some great pictures too to share. But I have to say, like getting to edit this stuff the last couple of days. You were saying how you know uh, Los Blancos was giving you so much joy over the and sort of the positivity, but your music the last few days has just been so exciting. I've been listening to it in my car as sort of getting ready for the show and cool, and man. just uh, as I'm editing everything. And man, it, it just really put a smile on my face. It just the it's, it makes me want to dance, makes me want to go and see a live show. And you've got some some live shows coming up, isn't that right? We we do. Um... And, and it's uh it's it's getting a little frustrating because uh, we decided uh, well ahead of time that we were gonna well at a point when where when we weren't sure when things were going to be fully open we just decided as a band well let's just who knows what's gonna happen let's set August maybe mid August as a as a target date or you know mm -hmm. a target period to, to make our return to the stage yeah well. Things have been, you know, I mean, I think we're still not all the way there yet, but things are are gradually opening up. And to see all these other bands playing already, it's like, oh, why don't we have to pick August? Why can't it be now? <laughs> but, but but we got really lucky. Like, uh, we we weren't sure what what show we were gonna do to for a comeback, and uh, we we got a call from Dwight Yoakam's people to open up for him at the the Pacific Amphitheater. I'm thinking, oh man, a hometown audience there in, in such a beautiful amphitheater, opening for a great artist like that. And that it's going to be beautiful, a beautiful summer evening there that we're really looking forward to. And we have a lot of family and friends that'll be there to 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 cheer us on. And yeah, we'll be a good thing. Let's what a way to come back. Oh yeah. my God. What's the date on this? Let's show the flyer. That, that, that's August. Uh, yeah, there you go. Friday the 13th. Yeah. Won't be anything scary yeah. about that. Yeah. No, no. That's and, coming and, uh, up. Oh yeah. And, and actually they, after this uh, was, you know, we inked the deal on that one. They asked us to do some other dates with them, with Dwight before that show. And we, we, we just, we just had we decided we're going to stick with uh, what we originally were mm. decided to call our our comeback show, but uh, but hopefully that'll lead to some you know some other opportunities yeah. in the future. Uh, yeah, I, we'll see what happens with that. And then after that show, we, we go we hit the road again. Like Marco, you know that we're, we're you know we're a traveling band. We yes. we have always been, um, mm -hmm. and it's been pretty weird to be away away from that. Although I have to say, I, I, it's been nice to be home for the first time in 30 years, to be home for any length of time. But uh -huh. right after that Dwight Yoakam show, yeah, we hit, we hit the road again. So uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. You know, we're, we're hoping for the best. I want to do something here, uh, Robert, if you don't mind. Um, do you have a hashtag that you use for the Fly Right Boys or Big Sandy? Do you have something like that that you use? Oh, okay. Uh, a giveaway sort of thing. Uh, yes, a hashtag. Uh, let's see. What would be a good one here? Um, let's pick a good one and make it. <laughs> <laughs> such such a simple simple thing does it, who cares it doesn't matter yet yet i can't think of it uh -huh. <laughs> how about we do this we do uh, just hashtag big sandy yeah i like it uh, All right. how did you get that up there Be, uh, you, the words <laughs> had, hadn't even come out of your mouth yet <laughs> oh, I think the you magic, uh, man he gets in your head watch out for that, <laughs> Mr. that the magic that happens here the magic. i'll tell you what we're going to do this we're going to do so uh to make this fair for everybody you're going to i want to uh, give everybody a chance to do this three times within because uh towards the end of the segment we're going to have uh big sandy go through the comments and pick one but you can only do it three times so please do it one time and if you are in orange county or southern california and we'll be around because what i'd like to do is i'd like uh we're gonna we're gonna dig it dig, dig into our band fund and i want to purchase two tickets um to this concert so you guys can experience oh, big sandy and because wow. we want to do this make this a fun giveaway here tonight so if you know that you are available on this date what was it again friday the 13th august, august 13th august 13th yes three times use that hashtag we're gonna buy you two tickets so you and one other person get to go to this and see this show with uh you know with, and you know what i actually found out i'm in town so i'm gonna make sure i go to that show too so <laughs> let's go yeah I'll, I'll i'll throw in a uh 
a couple CDs as well, or, or I'll throw in a couple things for the package there. Okay, awesome. All right, we're going to make it a big package tonight, so make sure uh check it out. Hashtag Big Sandy only three times, everybody, and that way we get everybody a fair chance to win here and uh, get those hashtags in. And if you're watching from home on a TV, on a smart TV, just log on your phone and type in the comments so that you are participating as well. But, uh, you know, I want to go back and ask, um, you know, we I've seen – You've been you've been quite a, a creative person from the from the early days, and, and I know like even even it, when you worked at the Anaheim, uh, what was it, Anaheim High School or one of those schools, you had the, you had this job there. But I want I found this clip oh. online, and I just want to share a little clip of it to show uh, you you're oh. quite a showman from the early days. So if we could, Mister Daps, if we got that, tape, I think I know what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll it. Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I got school. I got school. I got school. I leave for school about a quarter to eight. I arrive at school always late. I you, yeah. Marco. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You got to bring out the fun stuff. I love that. That's a, a Canyon High School, by the way. Canyon uh, High School. Uh, yeah, and um, yeah, I was a teacher's aide at the time, but I had just graduated, um, uh, and that's my brother John David, uh, who's in the uh, in most of that clip with me, along with Mr. Biajati. Yeah. Um, yeah. but yeah, I, I was a uh, for many years. I, I was a I worked for the ESL program. English as a second language, te te yeah, teaching kids from all over the world, teaching them English. Um, so, but the the principal and vice principal didn't like when I did uh, crap like that. But we, just, I was just, but I, I tried to make it fun for the kids, and they, we, there was a great rapport, and I thought it was a beautiful thing. They didn't agree. The yeah, the faculty didn't agree with me. <laughs> I think it's a beautiful thing too. I love that you have that, and it's so cool. And uh, and it's just it, it, to me, it shows like you've been just just this show creative showman from from the beginning. And, and I, I got to ask uh, your inspiration to sing. Where did it come from? And, and what was what was the first thing you heard that just brought that to you? Well, um, I, I, I've been so lucky in my lifetime to uh, it, it's and it still remains the case uh, uh, to have a family and particularly my parents uh, to have uh, parents that are just super into music, collect records. And I, I grew up in a household full of, of records and that and that was, a, it was kind of a range of music from rhythm and blues, jump blues, doo wop. That my mother's a huge doo wop fan. That that's that's that was her thing. But also we had a lot of country, rockabilly, rock and roll. You know, it was, but it was all the '50s music, man. Um, and uh, growing up through the '60s and into the the early to mid '70s, that music was still in the air. There was a great, a lot of great oldie stations. Um, it, it and, and a lot, and in certain parts of LA and East LA, it still felt like the '50s with the, the all the cars and the the low riders listening to the, the the oldie stations. Well, I would sing alone in my room, along on to the radio and to the records. Um, but I felt like a weird kid because uh, I didn't really know anybody else who was really into it, uh, you know, of kids my age. Um, it just moved me more than the music of the day. Um, but so it was kind of like the secret life that I led, just the uh -huh. daydreaming about singing in a band and drawing pictures, getting in trouble at school for drawing pictures of, of you know, of myself in a band and making up fake <laughs> bands or, or or telling other people, oh, yeah, I'm in a band. You know, just making this. It was a make believe world. Oh, I love but, that. But in the early '80s, uh, when the when the rockabilly revival started, uh, I started to meet other teenagers. I was a teenager by that point, uh, who were into older sounds, and, and I fell in with with uh, you know a clique of of those people. And uh, I felt, even though it it wasn't all exactly the same, it was just people who were not really into the music of of the day. Um, just just in, in inspired, influenced by by older sounds, and then ended up making my own music, which made it more contemporary. But uh, uh, I I did that event uh, eventually in the early '80s. But that that was that was sort of what led to that. Just the inspiration for those older older sounds. Mm -hmm. And is that so? What, when did the when were the Fly Right Boys born? Well, um, I was in a few other bands through the '80s. Um, most a lot of the other players that I ended up playing with, they 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 were coming at it 
more, uh, you know, uh, like influenced by Brian Setzer's guitar playing. Mm -hmm. So it was a more a, a contemporary approach to the older music. Um, but later, like in the second half of, of the 80s, I started to meet guys who were just listening to and trying to cop the licks of, of the, the original stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. Like uh, I met T.K. Smith, a, guy, a guitar player and guitar maker, fantastic guy named T.K. Smith, who, who was like really inspired by Cliff Gallup who was Gene Vincent's guitar player. Um, and and I met, uh, you know, Wally Hurson, who plays with a lot of uh, local Wally. local jazz jazz bands. And, well, he was a, just a straight-ahead rockabilly guy at the time. And uh, I fell in with him and his group of friends. And we just, all we did on our free time was was get to get, go over each other's house and listen to records and yeah. absorb all this music and, you know, try to make music of our own. Wally had uh, some old vintage recording equipment. So we started to try to make our own our own little recordings, but the goal was to try to get as close as we could to these original records. And, you know, we, I think we were a little bit off the mark, but that's sort of what the spark that led us to try to, that's what we were aiming for anyway. And, and so about 1988 is when we decided, you know what, let's just, let's just forget about trying to make it a, a thing of now. Let's, let's just, just for fun, thinking nothing would happen. Let's, let's just go for a totally authentic sounding fifties rockabilly rock and roll group. That was in 1988. Um, and then we got a, a great write up in the paper and then things sort of blew up and there was lines around the blocks for at clubs. And wow. so, yeah, that, it just sort of kicked off something for us there. Oh man. Amazing. And, and so I got to ask what, uh, I missed the, I looked at, they didn't look at the timeline of this, but when did you guys get to go from there to suddenly you're playing on Conan O'Brien? Um, yeah, that was a kind of, yeah, a bunch of stuff happened in, in between, you, you know, how it, yeah. how it goes, but, um, so, you know, we got one a write up in a European magazine, which led to a European tour, more European tours. We came back home and Dave Album from the Blasters had been watching us and he asked us if he wanted to, uh, if we might be interested in uh, having him produce a record and, and signing with a, a label that he was on, High Tone Records. Mm -hmm. So that that happened we recorded it at capital we recorded a couple albums with them at, at the Ca capital studios the, the, the capital tower and um we we were on tour uh with a package show with the high tone all the artists on the high tone label and during that trip our publicist lined up uh our first conan appearances uh first conan appearance but which led to a few others um and yeah, it started a relationship that that we had with him o o over the years, and which grew to uh, include uh, for me uh, uh, appearances uh, on on his show with Low Straight Jackets. So, so yeah, so it led to several you know TV national TV things, which you know with another blessing. I've been very lucky, very fortunate along the way. It's amazing. I, I've loved watching everything and, and and seeing. And ever since I got to meet you and just uh, see you continue, I just remember how often you're in some other part of the world, just traveling all over the world. And I'm excited that you're going to get to do that again. But one of the cool things I think I, I also uh, really love that you have been able to do is meet so many of the original artists because you're also host at Viva Las Vegas and, and made the music that inspire us. I have to ask, I mean, I, I know that uh, we got to... Uh, you know, when everyone from Lloyd Price to just uh, name them as uh, so many legends. And, and can you name a few that have been stuck out? I mean, I know it's hard to choose. But it, 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 yeah, it is difficult to choose, Marco. And you knew how it's like because you know what it's like because, I mean, you, you, with, for you being part of the house band for so many years, which includes, you know, some of the fly rights. Um, I, I mean, who, yeah, who do you pick? There's so many greats, but I have had moments. Um, like I, I had a chance to tour with uh, with Rose Maddox, who was part of a, a, a hillbilly outfit from the 40s and 50s. It was the Maddox Brothers and Rose, uh, and I have I have tons of their 78s. Uh, some of their records are ones that I used to spend time in my room, just be, being lost in a dream to, not knowing that someday I'd end up doing that. I'd be ending up backing her up with my band. Um, Wow. And the stories that she told just gave me chills. Uh, but that's Ooh, just yeah. one of, of hundreds, really, so of many, artists that we've yeah. had a chance to work with. Well, going back to um, to when Marco uh, sort of started with your band, don't we have some some pictures of uh, when Marco, you were playing with the, the Fly Right Boys, Mr. Dabs, isn't that right? Uh, maybe we can pull up a few. Let's say what you have here. What do you have here? Stories. 
Oh, see. look at that. Oh, yeah, Ash. Yeah. Is it? This oh, is at the surf that, ballroom. The surf. Oh my, that that was magic there. That was magic yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. We got to tell some of the folks who these people are. So we've uh, the first photo was with the flamingos. They sing that. Uh, chum -up, chum -up. Oh my uh, gosh, the flamingos! Yeah, yeah. I uh, only I have eyes for you. Oh yeah, my and gosh! I think, I think Robert, so I think cool. you were taking the picture of something here. Somebody was, uh, but but we were we were all there, and uh, and then wow. we met the other the gentleman in the white coats, or uh, Danny and the juniors, is at the hop, and um, and then also when uh, with there's a few photos where we where we with Big Sandy actually as uh, we performed for a bunch of kids, um, and, and you could see we took this fun selfie. Um, and then there's, you can see like, yeah, there it is. That, Remember that? Uh, you, that was the selfie that you took, man. Look, this was, uh, uh, along with the nighttime shows that we were doing, we did a matinee for, for the local school kids. And, and look at that. They were just going nuts. And just, yeah. uh, what a classic shot. And, and in there, there's Ashley Kingman. There's my bass player, Kevin Stewart. Mm -hmm. There's Carl, Sonny Leyland. A lot of, you know, Sonny, the great, uh, great boogie woogie, uh, piano pounder. And there's yeah. me. Uh, who, who's over there on the other side there? I, I'm not even. Oh, that's Richie Valens' sister right there. Yes. Uh, exactly. Old behind Ashley. Yeah, that's Connie and Irma. Uh, yeah, that, that's uh, that. Rich, Richie Valens' family. Wow. And if, uh, just in case our friends don't know who Richie Valens is, you got La Bamba here. So, uh, but I, I love it because Robert, you you made a Photoshop of that cover. Yes. <laughs> when you took that and I saw that, it reminded me of that pic. So I, I had to put the color on there to, to yeah. It was yeah, it was, was sort of a Richie moment. Wow! It totally was, and that was <laughs> one of the, the last gig that he and Buddy Holly and the Big Bopper played before they passed away, unfortunately. But it was the a, last show that they played. Yeah, exactly. What an what an yeah. experience though to be there. And I thought I got to thank you for including me in that because I remember when you called me. Uh, in, in my life, that was a part where I I was personally I was I was struggling because I was thinking like, how am I going to make ends meet musically? And oh. then suddenly you brought me out to that and that and, and the things that you helped me with have opened up a world of things that and I, I just got to say it here uh, if I haven't said it already. Th thank you for the time that you've oh. let me be on stage with you because it has allowed me to uh, make more of a career in the saxophone. So well, well, thank you. Well, you're welcome. And, and, and thank you. Uh, well, that's a lovely thing to say. But, you know, I mean we're all proud of you and, and to see what all the great things that you you've done and have been doing and you know and, and thank you for being on on uh one of my shows you know you, you you did the guest spot on eclectic american roots one of the other live streams that yeah that i had been involved with but yeah man you've, you've done such a great thing so uh you know you've made such a, a great name for yourself but you've always been a, you've always been a man of integrity and just just a solid cat so man the, the thanks goes right back to you Thank you, Big Sandy. Thank you so much, man. I, I got to say, you know who else? Uh, I'm noticing your mom is here in the comments. Angelina Williams here. <laughs> My mom. And yeah. Give a shout out to mom. And and there's, I want to share one little clip because if if you've ever been to a big, big Sandy show, you know uh, most of the times mama's going to be there. I know she wasn't there in Iowa, but um, she's mad that I didn't take her. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mama. <laughs> but uh, but you know what? I just want to share this little clip because your mom is so beautiful. She's so she's at the shows and she's got this spirit of, of youth that just brings so much vibrant. Every time I see her, I love it. She's out dancing. She's cheering. But can we just show this clip? Uh, we got to show Big Sandy's mom here. Happy birthday. I have a feeling she might be. I think I think she might be. 
you might be tearing up right now. Oh boy, I didn't know oh, you're gonna play that there. I know, like my mom, she's born in December, and so I, I saw that, and I had I had to share that. I thought it was cool. Well, and and uh, in some of those pictures, you can see that uh, she's with other musicians. There's, there's some, some like there's some doo-wop guys that, and I'm 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 so thankful that my mom, mom and dad used to go to all the lo local doo-wop shows here, and I would I would come along. Uh, there have been music fans from the word go, and I, I've uh, I've benefited from that, you know. Thanks for showing up, Marco. I, you oh. surprised me there. You caught me off guard. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. We like to do all the surprises here at the Fat Cat Swingers show. And uh, look at she's know. crying. She says, "Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> oh, he, <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm, I'm I'm happy to see her though here in the comments because honestly, every time I see her at a show, she brings me so much joy. Like I just I see her there and. And I try to say hello any chance I can, but uh, I love it that she's here as well. But and, she doesn't and, get to travel with us all over the place, although I promised her, yes, Mom, I'll take you to Spain. Where you you can come with us here to <laughs> Iowa. But but I tell you, Mom, but here in town, you're like a local celebrity, man. Yeah, you got yeah. like like that big Sandy who? Like I, I'm pushed out of the way. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Yeah, she's lovely. I'm so and glad. also, and if you don't mind, I I, I want to take a moment to also take, thank my uncle Steve, uh, Theo, uh, Esteban, uh, another guy who who grew up uh, listening to the rhythm and blues and doo wop, and who you know passed on, who still passes on records to me. Um, I, I, family is, can be uh, a, such a beautiful thing, and I have a great one. So I've I've, I've been blessed in that way too. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you know what, if you have a drink out there, let's get let's raise our drinks up and we're going to do a little toast. This one's going to go to family and I'm going to put this one out for our good friend Big Sandy. Uh, this is one of his favorite drinks I know here. So uh, we're going to just do this little bit. by Everybody, if you got a drink. <laughs> Funny guy. <laughs> put him up. I know Big Sandy Hello. probably got tequila there. Salute everybody. <laughs> Gotta see her from behind. There it is. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you got a little a little something out there with us having a good time. But uh, you know, gosh, there's so many things I, I want to share. At, I mean, I want to make sure everybody's okay going a little overtime tonight. I know we're doing a little late. Um, I, I left but, about ten minutes ago. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a you know. <laughs> Because you, you've you've also you've got all these different outfits of the band as well. So you've got the Fly Rat Boys. You've performed with Los Straight Jackets. You you've even gone out there with Revit Horton Heat. Yes, um, yes. As a as a special guest artist, uh, yeah, I've, I've toured with him. Uh, I think about three for three years. He was taking me out uh, like a lot uh, with with him. As uh, and it was such a cool gig because I got to ride on the big rock tour bus and just just yes. sing a, a few songs with them each night. And I didn't even, have, you know, I, I'd get my guitar handed to me, everything packed up. I didn't have to do anything except be along for the ride. So I I thank him so much for that. And when I was out on tour with him, there was a you know a little extra money coming in, so I was able to to build the the place I'm in right now, a little office and and little studio to do uh, shows like like this. And I. I I thank God that I've had this during uh, during uh, COVID. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be able to wouldn't have been been able to do all these shows that I've been able to do. Um, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Why don't you make me drink? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. I don't know. Maybe because the drinks are flowing, maybe it might uh. be a good time to try our, our game of the night. What do you think? Uh -oh. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, yeah. bring back Mr. Daps. Come on, Mr. Daps. <laughs> hey, Mr. Uh, I, I'm nervous, but I did tell Mr. Daps, "Hey, just I, I'm ready for anything. Just it's okay. I don't care if I'm caught off guard." You <laughs> know, we had but a wonderful me. conversation before the show, and you start off ahead also with 50 points because you said you'd seen the games I've done before, and you were still game for anything. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well done. Tonight's game, though. We're going to play the Whispering Challenge. The way this is going to work is we're going to have two of you turn down the volume so you can't hear okay. what we're saying. I will tell you when. And then whoever is left, I'm going to tell a word to. And your job is to get them to figure out your word, basically. 
And uh, when we give you thumbs up, that means you've got it, whoever's the left. And then if you don't get it and, and we get tired of it, um, the, the trumpet might come back. Uh-oh. So, so, so the so, two guessers, the guessers, the ones who are guessing have to turn our volume down so that we correct. can hear what the yes. person is. This way gotcha. so our audience can hear what we're saying. And then uh, they'll also hear what the guest is saying. But the guessers exactly. don't know. Ooh, and it okay. seems only fair to me that for the first round, uh, Mark and Marco should turn their volumes down, and Ooh. Big Sandy and I will, uh, well, 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 will I, still I, be able to hear. I, I want to make sure I'm uh, that I got the rules though. So I, I try to make them guess. You're going uh, to you're going to say a word, yeah, and and they're going to hopefully be able to read your lips. Oh, I see. Oh, just oh, okay. okay. And, right. and if they can't. <laughs> you can try to help them figure out the word that you're saying kind of like uh charades, charades a little okay. bit right okay. okay. give me give me like five seconds i gotta reset because my whole thing is off uh sync real quick so i will be 10 seconds behind you but i'll be right back in three there oh. we go mark is gone. this is a first mark what do we do <laughs> I don't know. I no, feel no. like there's something I should smash, and there should no. be an alarm or like, I don't know. I didn't. No, he, no, he said he'll be right back. Yeah, we know. We're no, just no. we're just taking. Whoops. We're just taking uh, advantage of the ten seconds. Okay, here we go. I, back, I, everything looks in sync now, so now I should not be ten seconds behind. <laughs> no, you're oh, that's up. good. That's good. You gotta love internet lag. So uh, let's test this out, and if right. Marco and Mark, you would. Turn down the the volume on your uh, computers oh. and give me a thumb up. And, and the yes. points go to the one who guesses it, or, or the one who guesses it will get points. Okay, oh, okay, I've got thumbs up from Marco and Mark. Cover your eyes. There we go, gentlemen. Um, I'm going to cover my mouth so they can't see what I'm saying, Big Sandy. But you can hear oh. me still. So your word is strawberries. Okay. Okay. And you can go. Strawberries. 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 Mark. Strawberries. All right. <laughs> strong, wow. strong out of wow. Me. All right. So since you got the 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 first one, Mark, you're gonna get a hundred points there. All right. And All right. I think you get to go next. Okay. All right. So All right. if Big Sandy and Marco would uh, turn down the volume so you can't hear me and then give me a thumbs up when you can't hear me. Okay. And we don't have to close our eyes, right? No, because no, I'm okay. going to cover my mouth. Got it. Okay, cool. Volume going down. So volume's down. Big Sandy, can you hear me? Okay. Little... Can't hear me. All right. <laughs> you ready for this, Mark? Sure. Why not? Scalawag. Okay. Go ahead. Scalawag. Oh, Scalawag. Scalawag. Uh, uh, no, 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 I, I heard it. I heard it. Oh, you got it. You can do it again. Because you were saying something before, and I, I thought that was the word, and then <laughs> it came back. Do that round again. We Maybe give right. a signal when when you uh, when it's already been said. Like, I'll give you a thumbs oh, oh, okay. up when. So, so mute. Turn your volumes down again, and we'll try it again. Did he? Hear, did he hear the word though? He heard the word, yes. Oh, man. It was All right, Marco, one. are you silent? All right, here we go. Your new word is um, cutesy poo. Cutesy poo. Tootsie poo. Tootsie magoo. Tootsie magoo. Cutesy poo. Lucy. Cutesy. Maroon. Like the little cuties. You know, cutie. Ow. Cutesy poo. Juicy poo? <laughs> Cutesy, cutesy poo. Mr. Magoo. Cutesy, like, Mr. oh, Magoo. you're so cute. Cute, cutesy. Okay, I I'm playing wrong. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so nobody got that one. Mark, what was the word? Cutesy poo. Come on, Marco. Oh. Big Sandy, come on. Well, well, the thing is, once again, I heard it. I was, I'm playing wrong, so I, I, I guess with with my sound still off, right? Okay, I don't. Yeah, yeah just we can still hear you. Yeah. Yeah, you mute so you can't hear us, but we can still hear you. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Oh, so you knew what it was, huh? Well, I, I. Yeah. He was honorable. Yeah, he knew. Okay. He this knew. is the first time we're playing. Well, this I'm game. giving him an extra fifty points for being honorable. 
That's right. You could have played along and, and, and won. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Marco, you're up. Oh, okay. Uh, Big Sandy and Mark, could you mute your computers, please, so you can't hear me? Sure. I'll give you All right, here we go. Two, one, and then it'll be go. All right. Okay. Uh oh. Marco's de frozen. Okay, go for it, Marco. Uh, the word is actually, it's a phrase. I love eggs. Okay. All right. Okay. It's going to be hard with the mustache. I love eggs. Eggs. I love you. Wait, I love eggs. <laughs> Did you say eggs? Wow. <laughs> no, I have to say. It was, it was what was it? I love what? It was I love eggs. Go. Mark, Boom. for that that speed, you get an extra 200 points. Very well done. Wow. Okay, so those were the, That was easy round. You get three more, one each. Oh, that, oh, that was an easy round. That's not a hard round. <laughs> I did my homework. You guys are gonna have fun with this. All right. Um, so uh Big Sandy, let's go first with you again. If okay. Marco and Mark would mute their lines. All right, okay, here we okay. go. All right, muting, mute. All right, Big Sandy, could you say um easy cheesy? Okay. Easy, cheesy. Kitchen sink? Kitchen cheese. <laughs> Kitchen. Yes. Easy, easy. cheesy. Kissing. Listen, she. Shrek. <laughs> Kissing. <laughs> easy, cheesy. Easy, cheesy. Kissing and don't tell. Oh, did I, I get it? I heard it. Did I hear it? Yeah, easy Marco got it. Tell. Marco got, got it. it. Easy. You got it. Who got it? Who got it? Marco. Marco. What, am I, what was it? Easy Marco, cheesy. Marco, that was our word. It was easy cheesy. What? It's <laughs> nothing like what I was saying. <laughs> Marco, an extra 200 points for you. Woo. All right. You are up next, sir, since you won the round. <laughs> okay. Uh, would you please mute your computers, computers, Mark and Big Sandy, and give me a thumbs up? Cool. All right. Uh, how about for you, Marco? <laughs> I love Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love um, Olive Rings. <laughs> I love dancing. I love salsa. <laughs> I love merengue. He is so good. <laughs> Ring. I love Beyonce. Fingertip. <laughs> I have no idea. What was it? Right out of the bag, Big Sandy with I love Beyonce for an extra 500 <laughs> points. Very well done, <laughs> sir. Hey, good Nicely clue. Good clue. Very, uh, that was... I good feel like, Marco, you get an extra 50 for that. That was really good acting. I couldn't remember the, the single ladies dance. I forgot what it was like. <laughs> I tried. All right, Mark, you are our final contestant. Okay. If Big Sandy and Marco, would you please mute your computers? Okay. Yeah, get out of here. <clears throat> all right. Marco, it is, or Mark, it's tell me all your secrets. All right. All right. Okay. Tell me all your secrets. <laughs> I love the reactions. When Tell me doing. all your secrets. This is serious. Tell me all your secrets. Are you serious? Tell me all your secrets. Last word, cigarettes. How many words? Can we at least know how many words? Five. Five. Oh. Five words. Tell oh. me all your <laughs> secrets. Sell me all your cigarettes. Are you sitting in a dress? <laughs> Are you sitting in a dress? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> 
Tell me your tell secrets me, in a dress. All your secrets. Tell me all your secrets. Oh! Whoa. What? That's it. Well, Big it? Sandy for the win. Yeah. I prefer oh. tell me all your secrets. <laughs> what the H? Well played, <laughs> well played. Now, what Extra 500 that? points there. I think you won with about 15,000. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what was the word? I don't even know still. Tell me all your secrets. Your oh. <laughs> that was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> they progressively were supposed to get harder, so uh, yes. that worked out well for Mark. Well, oh, my yeah. goodness. I think I have this game uh, down now. Can we? Let's oh, go. Let's, round. <laughs> all right, let's do a bonus you round. Already no, no. You already <laughs> run, <laughs> Big Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> all right oh man that was fun <laughs> well shoot hey, thank you mr daps for today's game i think that was a lot of You're fun welcome. Yeah, and, thank you. Gosh, <laughs> and one more time round of applause for mr big sandy winning this round <laughs> oh man that was a lot of fun so you know what it's time for i hope uh, we got some of those hashtags in the audience i want to do make sure we do a giveaway now i went online to go look at tickets there seemed to be a lot of tickets uh in the in the upper sections but we're going to buy you two tickets to this show that's and, awesome uh, wow so i i just i, I want to support i want to see our fans there and and i'm gonna tell you as as long as i don't get pulled out on the road i'm gonna be there too and mark if you want to go you're going i want to go for the whole band we're going yeah let's uh, do it but this will be a fun show to see and um uh, but yeah, let's make sure we got those hashtags in. Now, uh, Mr. Big Sandy, if you don't mind, uh, in the comments section up here on your right, if you're on the computer. Yeah, yeah, do, I, I see. Yeah, awesome. see him here. Just scroll yeah. and treat it like Wheel of Fortune. And just yeah, I, I, I want to be fair. I, I know, I know a lot exactly. of the, I know a lot of the folks here, so I don't want to. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, exactly. uh, Paige Smith. Oh, Paige hey! Smith! Congratulations! <laughs> Amazing. That is awesome. So go ahead and tell us what else she's going to win because we're going to get her the tickets. But what would you like to provide her with? Well, I will I'll also throw, throw in uh, our our most recent uh, CD and, and a double 45 set. That, Ooh. Wow. Oh. wow. Oh, my gosh. Give me a second. I'm going to go off the show and go to the comments. I'll be right back. <laughs> 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 so, so uh, yeah, we'll keep in touch about the getting to, so I know where to send that and all that. We'll, we'll coordinate on that. Exactly. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. How great. So, Paige, you make sure, please message us on Instagram so we can know how to get in touch with you. Um, and that way we can get uh, get you the, the prizes. I want to make sure we also uh, get your email so we can get your tickets to you, too, as well. So I'm going to get those tickets purchased tonight. But I'm so excited about this. And I got to tell you. That is really cool. Candy, I, I hope you had a good time with us on the show. I had a tonight. great, I had a great time. Thank you, and thanks for those of you uh, stuck around uh, over time here. The rest yeah. of you, man. I think it was <laughs> worth it. I think it was totally worth it to stick uh, around. This was a, a show worth staying overtime with, and uh, gosh, and and heck, it's a, a later show than normal, but uh, we made it work, and it all worked out. Uh, but once again, you know, Robert, thank you so much for spending the evening with us here. And also for the times that you tune into the show. I love it whenever you pop in the comments. I just, it makes me happy to see you there. So thank well, you. Well, I'm glad you guys are doing it. And, and Mark, Marco, Mr. Daps, thanks to all of you. And thanks for everybody for watching and uh, joining in on the phone. It was a lot of fun. Thank you. That's right. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, let's get some hand claps going and hearts in the comments here for Mr. Big Sandy. Thank you so much. Wow, man. What a show. What a show. Oh. I feel like I, it's like every week it just gets more and more fun. And, and we just, we, we uh, these games get sillier. And, and it's, <laughs> it, we're, we're falling into something really fun here. And I, I don't know. Someday I'm just going to put this out there. I want to put this out in the universe. But one day I want to figure out how to do this type of show live and in person like if we can set up our, our own little theater we'll do ticketed you know get people in put them in the seats have an actual band and have the guest i feel like we got to do this someday we'll just oh, yeah. put it out there who knows maybe season three we'll we'll graduate to that but but uh yeah. putting it out there hoping one day it's going to happen because i just love being able to bring so many people together the way introduce them to our guests and and and, and the great music that they do and heck Tonight we're giving away concert tickets. So Paige, congratulations Ooh. to that. I'm I'm excited for you. That is Great. gonna be a wonderful show between Big Sandy and Dwight Yoakum. I mean, I saw Dwight Yoakum many years ago. I got to perform a festival with him in Napa Valley, and 
Wow. Was, oh, just hearing those hits, I just love it. And that combined with Big Sandy, I'm excited. So, uh, That's hey, fantastic. You know, yeah. I just I want to ask one favor of everybody who's watching tonight, please. Uh, when the show's over, if you would, if you had a favorite moment in the show, once the show's done, if you'd go back and leave a comment, all of these comments help us boost the algorithms and, and everything. We're almost to a thousand subscribers and we're trying. That's one of our goals in this show. We're slowly building up. We want to get we're almost there. If you can help us just give a subscribe to the show, share the show on Facebook, send it to a text uh, in a buddy to somebody who would enjoy the show because we've had such a great time. And, and I feel like I hope uh, more people will, will be uh, digging what we're doing here and just join us on Wednesday nights. So, yeah. So what do you think, Absolutely. Mark? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. And um, between Big Sandy and then Frankie as well, bringing him on the show, uh, I can't wait for us to be, you know, perform together or something like that. But uh, yes. make sure to check and, out Frankie's lounge. Let's get let's get some mm -hmm. hand claps for Frankie as well. Gosh. Yeah. Make sure for Frankie's lounge and... Uh, Check out right, Frankie's lounge. Yes, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of great stuff happening uh, between all the bands and all the guests that we've had here on this show. I, I hope that you get a chance to see their shows. Remember buying those tickets. Uh, heck, if, if if you are in a position to maybe even buy someone else a ticket, I think that's a a wonderful thing that uh, you you can just get something out there to support the live music because the only way that this is gonna continue to work is with your support, showing up to the shows, showing up on social media and sharing all the things that we we're doing out there um and 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 realizing that this has been taken away from us once before let's let's not let it happen again and make sure that we can get out there and let this thrive and and let's have a renaissance of live music what do you say absolutely absolutely to that and and man uh we've got some pretty great guests lined up for next week so that's right. what do you say till next week Till next week, everybody. We'll see you on next Wednesday. And tomorrow we're going back to our uh, – tomorrow. Nah, it's tomorrow for me. But next Wednesday, we're going back to our regular time at 7 p.m. Pacific. So join us next week. We've got two lovely guests we're going to introduce on Monday and Tuesday. So stick around. And until then, see you Wednesday. Good night. Bye. It's time for us to say goodbye to all our friends. We hope you had a really great time. Love to stay some more and swing to the end of the night. It's time for us to pack our stuff and go. We danced, we sang, we played our hearts out to you. We showed you what we're all about. We hope to see you again the next time we are around. That's when you tell your friends the fat cats are in town. Again, we'd like to thank someone. No way that someone would be you. Without you, none of this would be true. Just remember to share that big smile with somebody next to you. Cause you might just brighten someone's cloudy day.